A carousel Facebook newsfeed ad is something that is gonna allow you to provide more content on the same amount of space, more information, and more value that communicates the truth about your actual brand. Now let's talk about some more specific individual micro types of ads. These ones are really, really important. There's something called a carousel ad. I'm sure you guys are familiar with that. When you are on the Facebook newsfeed, there's these cool ads that you can actually swipe to the sides and you can see images and you can also see more videos about a particular message. This is the type of ad that takes advantage of a much, much wider piece of real estate within the same exact ad space. Really cool, right? As you guys already know, the actual Facebook newsfeed and also the Instagram newsfeed, it's actually a vertical newsfeed. It does not go wide. But when you do a carousel ad, you make it go wide. Now, there's two types of carousel ads. There's the actual image carousel ad, which is exclusively images. You can do up to 10 images on one single ad. Imagine that, 10 complete images on one single ad for the same price as a single image ad. Doesn't that sound powerful? Well, it provides a lot more information to a customer, to a potential customer. So they can have more information that are gonna help them make a decision whether they engage further with you guys or not. And the other type of carousel ad is a video carousel ad. You can do several videos in a row that are gonna provide more information about your product. Really cool stuff. You can tell stories on it. You can talk about particular origins. You can say information that is relevant to the product. You can actually go one by one and create an audience that is actually captivated by their previous image that forces them to go to the next one. Creativity is pretty much endless when it comes to carousel ads, but I've seen that this is one of the most successful formats when it comes to Facebook ads, specifically for people that have physical products. Why? Let's say for example that you are a retailer and you have like 10, 15 different variations. Well, you can actually display your entire brand, imagine that. Instead of having to choose one single product to promote on your ad, you can actually promote your entire line of products in one single ad. So let's say that you're doing a giveaway, you're doing a promotion, you're doing something to generate buzz, you're doing a 20% discount across your entire brand. Guys, carousel ads is the way to go because now you can go ahead and do 10 unique variations with a unique link on each one that takes advantage of one single ad space to put all this content throughout in a wide way. Really cool stuff, right? On this lesson, we're gonna talk about exclusively the actual image carousel ad. This is There's one catch to it right now, and it's important for you to understand. You currently cannot mix and match. Either you do image carousel ads, or you do video carousel ads. You know that Facebook always keeps us on our tippy toes. So in the future, that might change. By the time that you see this, who knows? Maybe it's different. They are changing so fast that you never know when this is going to go ahead and become a possibility. So for now, all you gotta do is like select 10, up to 10 images. You can do four images, you can do eight, or you can do several videos. We're gonna talk about that on the next lesson. Let's focus right now on doing a carousel ad that is gonna communicate something about my particular service. We're talking about my course, right? Just so we can continue on that example. Let's go ahead and see how I will build this particular message. And you guys have to go ahead and think about this like a product. Okay, good, so let's check it out. So right here we are on the ad creation level. When we select messages, I'm gonna show you guys one little quick example. Do you see how we got four formats in here? Carousel, single, single video, slideshow. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and select a different objective. Let's go ahead and select traffic, which is like, let's say that we wanna send a lot of people to our actual website. Once we select our actual ad set and we go back, now we have different options in here. Okay, so check it out. Right here, we have now five options. We have carousel, single image, single video, slideshow, and collection. A collection is like uh, your own little website inside Facebook that gives more information and that you can do like pictures and videos and a combination of all those things that open up in a full screen experience. What What's my point here? Guys, I wanna show you how formats are also going to vary depending on the objectives you select. Let's go ahead and select the carousel option right here and let's see how we can build this up. We're gonna go ahead and change the page and let's go to the Marketing Ninja. And uh, this is what happens. Text, you can only do one of them. 
There's only going to be one text that is going to be at the top of the actual carousel images. But every single image is going to change. Let me show you. If you want to actually be able to preview it, how it slides, the only option that you have currently right now is to preview it on the desktop right hand column. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm sorry, not the desktop, but the desktop news feed. Okay. Let's go. You see right here, this a, a, a little arrow pops up. Then now you can scroll for the different images that you are selecting. All right. So let me choose some images here. If you go to the, uh, the bottom over right here, you see that's one, two, three. Here we can select how many images we want to use. You can do up to 10 individual images. So let's see. Right here we got a total of 10. Well, let's say that I only want to do four of them on this time for demonstration purposes. Let's remove. Let's have four of them. So on number one, I want to select an image. And let's go ahead and select this one. Just for demonstration purposes, let's select the other one. Let's select another one. And let's select another one. Okay, here we go. Now, obviously, you want to be able to select pictures that look good once you scroll through them, right? This last picture right here, the last option, it's a little checkbox that you can check or uncheck. This one is going to send people to my page. Look at this. You see right here, it says, add a card at the end with your profile page, with your page profile picture. If I eliminate this one, look what happens. It goes away just like that. And now we have only four of them. Okay. It depends on what you're trying to accomplish. I usually, when I'm going to sell products or if I'm going to actually provide a service, I don't have to put that last one in there, like just connecting people with the page. I just want to like make sure that I give people the exact directions as to what I want them to do, whether it is complete a registration, sign up for a webinar, purchase a product, come visit our shop, whatever it is that I'm looking for, that's what I'm going to ask them to do. Any other options that are not necessary, I'm going to try to keep them away from them. So I usually uncheck that box right here. Just uncheck it. This is cool. Automatically show the best performing cards first. Absolutely. Because based on, based on what's actually happening on your actual ads, Facebook is going to know which images out of the ones that you selected are performing the best. So the ones that are performing the best, Facebook starts optimizing to show them more. So it, it uses the Facebook's power to actually position your messages in a way that they are more likely to get a response from people. Make sense? All right, good. So we're going to go ahead now and let's go ahead and change something here. You see how it says crop image? I want to just eliminate this and maybe just crop my face. Okay, now let's be clear. I wouldn't use this picture at all just because, uh, you know, it's not a complete picture, but let's go ahead and just use it like that. So that way it's not blocking the, you know, most of my, uh, my face and the lettering and everything just like that. So you can see, you can crop, you can actually crop it and make it whatever you want to make it. And then let's go ahead and add some text on it. So right here, let's add some text. All right, so here we go. We got a link uh, right above the images. I'm doing a free workshop online to show you how to build your brand on a social media world. Register here today. Simple call to action. And then check this out. Every single image can have its own headline. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and send them to the actual link. I'm going to grab this link right here and I'm going to paste it over here where it says destination URL. So check it out. Every single image can have its own different link, but you can have the same one on all of them. So when somebody selects learn more or they select, let's say, let's uh, go ahead and select another option. We're going to go to, let's see, send message, zone eight now. We can do sign up. Okay. Sign up for the webinar. Okay. So let's check it out. We're going to do right now the headlines on each one. Let's go to the first one and we're going to do something like So learn how I've generated 
over 100 million in sales in the last four years. Okay, let me try to get this close so the arrow is pointing correctly. Let's, I'm gonna eliminate all this. Let's see what happens now. All right, good, I like it like that. We're gonna go to the second image and let's do something here. Currently spending over $600,000 in Facebook ads. Register here. All right, good, let's go to the next one. See what this one looks like. Connect with a community of like-minded people. All right, let's see how it looks over here. All right, we got another image right here and let's say something like, Learn from the Facebook master ninja himself. All right, so we're gonna see how that looks. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and change it to the actual desktop and let's start seeing how it looks. So the mobile news feed. All right, it has that. That's decent. I would actually keep on playing around guys on this. For example, like if I go to this one, let me just shorten this up a little bit. I think that you get the picture, right? We wanna be able, like I've shown you guys before, to make it very easy to a person to look at it and be like, where do I click now? So check this out. Let's see, let me make it a little bit shorter. All right, so there we go. Learn from a certified Facebook pro. Okay, good. That communicates right there and it's taking the person to the actual button that I wanted to click, as simple as that. So now we are gonna slide over and we see exactly how it looks now on the actual desktop or on the actual mobile newsfeed. As they glance over, they can see the whole information and whatever they click on the sign up, they're gonna be able to land on that page that's gonna register for the webinar. Really cool stuff. So now there's more information. I want you guys to start thinking about how you can use this for your own brand. Whether it is an online brand or a brick and mortar shop, no matter what, a carousel newsfeed ad, a carousel Facebook newsfeed ad is something that is gonna allow you to provide more content on the same amount of space, more information, and more value that communicates the truth about your actual brand. You know what the cool thing about this is now? That it's also available on the Instagram feed. This is also pretty new. Less than a year ago, you could not even do an actual carousel ad on Instagram. Now you can, you can do carousel ads on Instagram channel, just like you can on the Facebook newsfeed. And you can send people to your website, to your shops, as easy as that. Those are the basics of it. There's actually a little bit more to it that you, you wanna play around. Like for example, it says right here, description. So for example, if you if you do here, let's let's add some text on it. Let's see where it shows up. So check it out. What happens when you do this is that it actually makes your other text a little bit smaller. So you wanna test things out. Like if we go down to the mobile newsfeed, it just, it depends on how you wanna position it there. Look how it looks right here, you see that? I would actually buy, maybe add a line, a very short line on this particular area to make sure that it doesn't, that doesn't get like, that somebody cannot really consume it. So let's do something even shorter than that. I will be like, Let's look at how, let's see how that looks. Over, a, okay, nice, look at that, right? So learn from a certified Facebook pro, over a hundred million in sales, just to the point. Guys, like that, it's just a reality because I have generated over a hundred million dollars in sales in the last few years. So it is a true fact. So it just creates a curiosity about it. Start thinking about it for your own brand because the reality is that the better that you start communicating what your brand is, what your message is, it doesn't matter. I'm using this example as building ads for my own training, but the reality is that these formats work exactly the same way for your brand, e-commerce or offline. No matter what it is, you can communicate stories through carousel ads.